All right, here we go. Global warming. Global gravity. Subject type drives me nuts. Always has. Uh, you should actually get a second opinion on that to see if it's something else that has driven you nuts. The weather stuff has driven me nuts since the 1970s. So now it's the weather that has driven you nuts, not global climate change? Now it's the weather? Want to make up your mind there? When I was stationed in Sacramento, California, and they were on a kick about global cooling. They? They who? And there was a new ice age coming. Yes, in about 28,000 years. Don't worry about it. And it was all man's fault. According to whom, exactly? That was our call from that time. I, I was out there. Ronald Reagan had, was governor when I got there, or had just been governor, and I know that Jerry Brown got elected governor. Hey, genius! What scientists out there said humans made ice ages? While I was there. And, amazingly, uh, California was having financial trouble back then. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Ice Age! Who said humans were going to make an Ice Age? It's like pulling teeth. But anyway, back then it wasn't global warming, it was global cooling. You know, if you didn't watch Fox quote news unquote, you wouldn't remember things that didn't happen. And an ice age was supposed to come and it was all man's fault. According to whom? Uh, and now it's global warming. Scientists have been talking about human caused global warming for almost 200 years. And it's all man's fault. But what people need to understand and pay attention to is that weather runs in cycles. Weather? Weather? I thought your subject was global climate change. I thought your subject was global warming. Now you're switching to weather? It repeats itself. Uh, Hurricane Sandy. Terrible storm. Did terrible damage to the East Coast. And, and I'm sorry for that. Who said humans were going to make an ice age? Yeah, and everybody says that, you know, that's, that's, it wasn't natural. Uh, that, yeah, I guess it's man's fault. The government did it with harp. I don't know. You don't know. Do you know who said humans were going to make an ice age? By any chance? Huh? Huh? Got any clue at all? Alas, it falls upon poor old Desert File once again to explain what this genius is talking about. For over 180 years, scientists have known that human-released carbon dioxide would affect Earth's climate. Specifically, human-released carbon dioxide would heat up Earth's lower atmosphere. Many scientists over that time period have tried to calculate just how much Earth's global average temperature would increase with a doubling of atmospheric carbon dioxide. In the year 1937, G.S. Callender wrote and published a paper on the subject of artificial production of carbon dioxide and its influence on global average temperature. Using the laws of physics, he calculated that the doubling of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere would result in an increased global average temperature of approximately 1.2 degrees centigrade. It is now 75 years later, and direct observations show that his projection is slightly too low. It is actually warmer now than what he predicted. There are two chief reasons why his projections do not match observations. The first one is he did not include many of the feedback mechanisms that we know are in place. For example, the albedo change due to the loss of polar ice. The second reason is this mysterious cooling trend in the 50s and 60s and the early 70s. 
And thus, finally, we address the issue of the myth that scientists thought there would be a new ice age caused by humans. In year 1971, this paper, among several others, sought to explain the cooling trend that they had seen for the past 20 years or so by measuring atmospheric aerosols and its effect on Earth's climate. The paper's authors concluded that if human-released particulate matter in the atmosphere increased 400% or more and was sustained for several years, enough cooling would have result to induce another ice age, and thus a myth was born. The paper specifically stated that the cooling effect over the past quarter century was very likely due to human-released particulate matter in the atmosphere. It also flat out stated that human-released particulate matter would very likely cancel out the warming effect of human-released carbon dioxide if that pollution continued. The facts show that the very same paper that denialists used to fabricate the myth that scientists were predicting an ice age states flat out that human activities had caused and was causing global warming, specifically human-released carbon dioxide. 